Hey guys, RC here, along with one of my cats. Uh, <laughs> cream sickle, come on. Say hi. Say hi. Um, all right, so we've covered the mud part of the new update. So let's talk about. Ow, crap! That hurts. Uh, let's. <laughs> hey, let's talk about the iron. Now I don't know if this will work. If it does it, you won't see it. But we're inside a cave here. So this is the cave right by the airplane tail, right? So I just came in here. Ow, okay, you gotta go. You gotta get off of me, ow. All right, so there is an iron vein in the, the wall here. So we're gonna take our ax, maybe. And we're gonna chop this down. All right, well, that didn't work. Oh. Sorry, I'm cooking some meat here. I don't want that to burn. All right, let us craft. Oh, I need to go find a stick. All right, you get off of there, please. All right, let's try this again. All right, there we go. All right, so you can see that we got come up here, William. Two iron ore in our bag. Now this is junk, it disappears. So if we look in our bag, we've got two iron ores there. So let's go into our notebook here and let's just check around. So we've got tools. Now it did open up a, Uh, let's see. Uh, a furnace. There you go. So we have to build a furnace to melt the iron. And then once we do that, I'm guessing, I'm guessing that that will open up iron tools in the book. Very similar to what happened with the mud tab, right? So that will be my agenda, and that's where we'll come back here in just a second if that works. But I wanted to show you where to find the iron in the caves, and I'm not sure how much iron there is. Uh, looks like I might have a leech. Anyway, we'll be back uh, once I figure out what to do with the iron that we have found. Hey, now this time we're kind of looking at the iron, but I did want to kind of show you a little bit. I finished two mud walls, so there they are. So of course, in my mud video, uh, we built the frame over here that makes the mud, and you can see it makes six bricks. Well, it takes seven to make one wall. So, and then of course, each... Uh, time you make the bricks it takes a campfire ash so we're going to pick that up the charcoal and I am storing that in the box here so that's what's going on in here I'm gonna take out the iron I had two pieces of iron ore also uh, one new item that you may have run across is these empty cans. Do not repeat. Do not destroy them. Here's why. So after you build these, you get the little notification. If I can find it. All right, so there's our furnace. There's our forge. And inside the forge... Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's in the tool, forging metal items. So you can obtain iron from melting the stone or all of these empty cans that you find. So don't waste those uh, like I did. Uh, harvest mud brick to get a form. Combine it with melted iron and weapon to get a mold. Bake the forge in a mold. Harvest the bake form and use a cast to create iron tools. Now, some of that's still a little Greek to me. Also, one of the things that I discovered uh, is that the cleanliness system, uh, eating with dirty hands can cause increased 
chance of getting parasites, which we did talk about that, that I had noticed I was getting parasites a lot more. Uh, but the orange mushrooms make that go away. So just get in the habit of trying to wash your hands regularly a couple of times a day, I guess, like in real life, right? So let's go through here and see if we can find any type of mold. All right, well, you know what? Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do this. Let's see what happens. Because sometimes it's just trial and error, right? So let's get the fire, the ember started. We're going to ignite that. Okay, well, now see, I don't know exactly what the hell that's doing. Now, I do have some charcoal. All right, I, again, I have no idea what that's doing, what to put in there. Um... Is that another fire? Or maybe that heats up and we take it out and we put that in here. That's going to be weird. I, I have no idea. No clue. <laughs> no clue. And I have not seen anybody else uh, put up any videos yet for me to look at. <laughs> so... It is really, um, no, no, no. Oh, okay, here we go. All right, so we're making, we're putting charcoal in there. Interesting. All right, I think I have some more charcoal in storage over here. All right, so that means, looks like it takes an awful lot of charcoal to boot this sucker up. Oh my god. Piper! Alright, so that's full. Use a tool to create... Okay, create an ember. Another ember. Alright, so that means we're going to need more fire, more law, more wood. All right, so like I have no idea what that's doing at all. There's nothing in there except for the wood. All right, that looks like it is starting to progress. You see the little white arrow right there from like 12 to 1 o'clock. This is going, so the heat is melting the iron. Okay, so... But I still have no idea what this is doing. I probably wasted my time there. Uh, so, but we're going to need another. So not only do we need the wood for fires here, but we also need fires for the mud. Oh my God. And then they've made the fires brighter, which arguably means the natives are going to be even more restless. Uh, so you're just like really getting killed here, right? Just it, it's really setting it up to just kill you completely. All right, um, all right. I am gonna drink that. I'm gonna drink that, and let's go ahead and make a. Oh, there it goes. Hopefully before the fire burns out.
Now, after you eat a can, it turns into an empty can, so you can do that. Boom. All right. Anyway, I will come back here in a minute when this is done, and we'll see if we can figure it out. See you guys in a second. So wanted to just kind of show you something I've been working on. This is what that wall looks like, the mud wall on the little lean-to. I have not quite finished the roof, but that's pretty spiffy. Uh, that's a nice-looking thing. Uh, I need to get that. Nope. So uh, anyway, we've got the mud walls. These are the mud wall wraparounds. And if we come over here, I noticed that our fire is halfway and we have melted iron ore. Let's go ahead and put another piece of metal in there. And hopefully we have enough to keep that going. I can add charcoal. Okay, so that you can add charcoal to this once you... Okay, so I wasted all that earlier charcoal. Too bad. But that would be the place to be using your charcoal for expanding the life of your fires the big thing is is now all of this stuff that we took for granted right you know like dry leaves and you know we could afford for that stuff to go to waste all of that's going to be at a premium now which is good i guess it's bringing i guess it's bringing a premium to the game so that's good yeah, it's just now it's all the sticks and everything else is just so insane. All right, so that's boosting it up. So we have melted iron ore. But I have no idea what to do with it now. All right, let's read that again. All right, so tools. All right, so I got the iron, melted iron ore. Harvest, okay, let's try that. Harvest a mud brick. Harvest. Oh, hello. So we got an empty mold, okay. Can I put that? No. If I craft it again, oh, okay, with... And... Not that. Ooh, an axe mold. Okay. Do I want that, though? A blade mold. Okay. So we've got a blade mold. see here we'll drop those all right so we have a blade mold so do you have to have yes it does take iron to make the mold itself all right, well, interesting. All right, so we're going to take that, and let's go ahead and shoot. I had I had that empty can, that can didn't I? Right here. Let's see what that does. And let's go ahead and pop some charcoal in there just to make sure we've got enough. All right, and then, so I've got a blade mold. We're going to craft with the melted iron ore and a axe for an axe mold. All right. 
And then what else? What else can we make? Um, how about... No, I can't do it until that melts. I'm wondering about our armadillo armor. Maybe? Oh man, I am dying of thirst here. So we figured out how to make molds. Yes. All right, so I'll see what else we can make in the morning. All right, guys. Well, I will be back once I find some more stuff out here with iron in the mud update. All right, well, I just woke up, and first thing I did is I went and washed myself off, right? Notice my fish trap has not caught anything. And I noticed that this said that was it, the fire was out, and it said hit E to use. So basically it took off the door here. So look at what we have got. We have got a lot of campfire ash and a lot of charcoal. All right, so if we open up our bag here, we have 15 charcoal and three campfire ashes. Okay. Yes, it took a good bit more wood than lighting a fire. Yes, but, but, look at the return. So basically you get five fires worth of charcoal and three fires worth of campfire ash. That's huge. Okay, so that is lovely. I like what all so all this does is makes charcoal and camp ash, which you need to feed this beast. Oh, and look, the can gave us an iron ore of our own. Okay, so what do I want to do here? Well, let's sleep real quick just for a little while, right? Just so we can see. Let's get to seven o'clock. All right, close enough. All right, um. All right, obsidian stone. There. All right, I have an ax mold. Awesome. Charcoal, let's put over here. Okay, then this. We can slide that way. And then we have a blade mold right there. Okay, I want to try something. All right, so let's take off the armor, maybe. Okay, let's look down. All right, oh, I can't craft that, no, damn. All right, so that's not what it's going to take. Oh, you know what? Well, let's try... Let's try this. I have that, yeah. And I have... I have a blade mold. All right. Come on. Hello. Hello. All right, empty mold we'll put in there. I'm going to take that. All right, let's try this again. Okay, that's not helping me any. Um... All right, let's re let's reread this because like you guys, all right, so we did we melted the iron ore and empty cans so they both work. We harvested a brick to get a form and we've made molds. Bake the mold in the forge. All right, so the forge again is this one. All right, so let's try.
Hey, turtle. All right. I have nowhere to ignite it. Oh, that's going to suck. I can't see, cat. All right, that's not helping me any. All right, so... And that did not let me put that in. So this only takes charcoal. Okay. Oh, man. All right, so three, four, five, six, seven... Takes eight charcoal to to ignite the forge. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Okay. So. All right. I'm trying to think of what to do here. All right. Let's go ahead and try to light this fire again. Okay. All right. Now let's. No, I don't want to harvest that. Um, oh, you know what? So the iron ore is already in here. Okay, let's... Oh, okay, cool. So y the mold only works one time. Okay, that's what it appears. And then we harvest it when it comes out. Okay, I'm... I'm I'm getting it a little bit at a time. You guys are probably light years ahead of me. And and that's cool. <laughs> Tell you what, I'm going to go catch some fish while this is cooking. And we'll come back when that's finished cooking and we'll break the mold together. See you guys in a second. Let me go drop this. I caught two fish. All right. And I think I'm going to go ahead and take this other spear. There we go. All right, so the mold is baked, so we will take it. We don't have to do that, We can, but we're going to open and harvest it now. What's going to happen? Oh, my God, look at that, a metal blade cast. All right, so let's craft that with a stick. Oh, I don't have ropes. Uh, let me go grab a rope. Hold on. Got should have one right there. Yep. All right. We're going to craft that. And a stick. And a blade. A metal pickaxe. Oh, my God. Look at that. Awesome. All right. Let's drop that and put that in. Now. All right. A metal pickaxe. Excellent. All right, so if we pull that out, there it is. Look at that shit. All right, so we were cutting down. Let's see. All right, that is not even cutting down bamboo. So my guess is that this is either only for fighting or you could use it for mining more ore. That would be my guess. Not sure. If you figure that out, put it in the comments so it'll help other people down the road. But yeah, so we've made a metal pickaxe. Just to recap, because I think we've learned a lot today. All right, so we have the, oh, let me get rid of the, leech so I don't go insane while I'm talking. Uh, leech it does the body good. Pass it on. Alright, so to recap let's start from square one. You go to the water, you right click and you take mud. When you take mud that opens up all of your mud stuff in here starting with the mud mixer, storage boxes, the various walls, roofs, and everything else. This is the mud mixer. This is what you use to make the bricks, which you then use in construction to make things like walls and the wraparound pieces right here. 
So that's cool. And you can also make roofs with it as well. But be aware, it does take seven, I believe, on the straight walls. And this one, I believe, took four for the angled wall. Which would stand a reason because it's, it's less height. Uh, it took, I think, three or four to make a storage box plus sticks. So there's your storage box. And that's your storage on the inside. Um, then we have the ability, once you mine iron, which the beginning of this episode, you find that in caves. It's possible you might find that on the exterior of mountain walls. Not confirmed. I have not found it. I'm just guessing that you could find it there because if it's only in caves, that's going to really limit the availability of it, I'm afraid. So there may be sporadic vein veins across the exterior of mountains, so just keep an eye out everywhere that you're going. Once you get the iron, then under the fire tab, you learn the furnace and the forge. All right, so the furnace... You take that and you load it up with wood. Just sticks and sticks and more sticks. It takes a lot more than a regular fire, about double, okay, a regular fire. So a regular fire takes six smalls, eight large, or eight regular sticks. Figure about 12 and, and 16, somewhere thereabouts. You can see one stick, how little that impacted it. But what you do is when you make this and you ignite it, then you get a you have to put a door on it which takes one mud brick and that seals it in and then when that cooks down and the fire burns out you get three campfire ash and 15 charcoal so that's a massive amount which certainly alleviates to some extent my concern for having to keep two fires going basically around the clock uh, so that's good to know and then the forge, you have to load this up with charcoal, and it takes eight. I think we determined eight. And then once you have the charcoal in, you ignite that with tinder, with your, with your normal fire starting technique. Same with this. And then with that, then you can take raw iron ore that you mine, or more, even more importantly maybe, empty cans so there's empty cans everywhere make sure you gather those and keep those in a stockpile right so we're gonna use those and you take that and you put the raw metal or the can in here once you've started the fire then it will cook down it will melt and that will give you the a piece of raw iron iron actual iron ore I thought we had, oh, right there, melted iron ore. That's what, that's what you get when you melt the items. And then you can take a mud brick, right-click on it, harvest it, and what that will do is it will create the mold. And it looks like you get three molds out of one brick, because I only did it once, and I got this empty mold one that I turned into an axe mold and one into the blade mold, right? And you know what? I just realized there is an axe mold there, so the blade mold could be... Hold on. Oh. You know what? I just realized something. So, with... The, I used the blade, and that made a pickaxe. If I would have put it on a long stick, that might have made an iron spear. Just guessing. I wish I... Oh, in fact... Hold on. Storage box. Empty mold. We're going to craft. Um, a blade. And a piece of iron. All right, so we're going to make another blade mold. All right, let's go fire that up. All right, so that's cooking. Uh, we are almost out, so we're going to stoke this with more charcoal. I don't want to fill it all the way up because I don't want to waste the charcoal, right? But this will actually make a very good 
charcoal pit that we'll just stock up right here. So what I'm thinking now is because the recipe for the stone axe or the pickaxe was a metal blade rope and a stick that if we take the long stick right because that's what it takes to make a spear and we do that with the blade and the rope then that is going to give us a iron spear I'm thinking all right so let's finish this up because I want to do this before but let's see so put wood in ignite it take a mud brick put a door on and the door disappears because you have to break that down to access the inside so you'll have to do that every time that creates the three camp ash and 15 charcoal the 15 charcoal will be used to feed this or you could use it to feed your regular cooking fire because now we don't have to worry about letting that burn out and restart it because we're going to have this but you need the campfire ash every time I don't have any other construction going on um, you know what let's do one other thing uh, let's put Let's put a mud, mud roof right there. I don't have enough to do a whole roof, but we can start. And we can at least kind of get the gist of what it'll look like. Eh, okay, that's, that's weird. I'm wondering why that wouldn't glop down on your head, but what do I know? And now we have, I did put some camp ash over here. There's one. Awesome. Uh, also, you do have to manually fill this with water if it's not raining. But if it is raining, you can see the rain will activate this. So, always nice to do when it's raining. I'm going to have to move that thing. That's ticking me off. How are we doing over here? All right, we have a baked mold. All right, so we're going to harvest this. All right, let's try something. All right, I need a rope. Check. I want a long stick, so we'll craft that with a rope and a metal blade. Yes, metal spears. Woohoo! That is awesome. We're going to drop that. And this is 38% of raw metal power. Hell yeah. Dig that. All right. So, yeah, very happy with that. All right. So, you only get one use out of each mold, which is fine. Let's confirm that real quick. I want to mix this up. That sounds gross, doesn't it? And I know this episode's been a little long, but, you know, it is what it is. All right, so let's confirm. I have nothing in my bag. Nothing in my bag, in my bag. All right, let's take one, and we're going to harvest it. And yes, so we get three molds. You can see off to the right there, and we have three empty molds. All right, so we're going to just drop these here. I don't know. I don't think they'll wash away. They might. But so what you do is you the mold is already formed for whatever, you know, when you make it, you take the mold. Uh, in fact, let's. I'm going to craft. And another stone. We'll make a stone blade. All right. And then we will pick up one of the empty molds here. 
Now, the problem is we do need a bit of iron, which I don't have anymore. But that bit of iron is what forms, is what you put into the mold itself. So basically you push the stone blade in, take it out, it leaves the space shaped like that, and then you put the metal in. You put the mold at that point into the furnace and it melts the ore again into the shape of the mold and then you harvest it to get the piece. So I hope that helps. I hope uh, you guys pick up on that. I am gonna uh, move that right here just so I can find it later. So I think we've done a pretty good job of understanding what's going on. The only thing I don't know for sure is if there's anywhere else besides caves because to my knowledge we're on Anaconda Island where the water update came from, right? I don't think there's any caves out here, to my knowledge. And there's only, there's Skull Cave. You've got the cave that you walk through to get to the new area, Anaconda Island area. And that's it. You know, and then there's like two other caves out by, I think, the Drug Lab maybe, uh, that I've never even been able to find. So... If you find iron anywhere else on the outside of mountains or cliffs, leave a comment below because that will help anybody else checking out the video know for sure if there's other places to get it. I really hope this helps you guys. Uh, you could see it was a little longer because there was a lot of trial and error, but you know, that's part of the game. So three ash and 15 charcoal, sweet. All right, guys. Well, have a good one. Hope this helps you guys out, and uh, good luck surviving out there in green hell. Take care. Bye.